Hi, let's learn Lost Cities, a two-player only game by Reiner Knizia, with art by Vincent Dutrait, published by Cosmos. The goal of the game is to have the highest score after playing through three games. A score is counted by the amount of points are collected in each column. Start by playing the game board on the table. You may have the sixth color, but we will be learning the five color basic game. And these are the 60 cards that make up the main deck. If you do have the addition with the sixth color expansion, remove that color from your deck and place it back in the box. Then shuffle the cards and deal out eight to each player. Then place the remaining cards next to the game board to create the draw pile. When placing cards, we will place it on our side of the board and our opponent will place it on their side of the board facing them. At the beginning of the game, both players start with zero points. The eldest player goes first. On your turn, draw a card from your eight card hand and place it down with the corresponding color. When it comes to your score, each expedition costs 20 points to start. So to start this expedition, it costs 20 points and then we add two points. So we are at negative 18 points. After you have laid a card down, draw a card. We will get into greater detail about this later. After your opponent has taken their turn and it comes back to your turn, choose another card to lay down. It is both possible to continue the column you've started or start a new one. So in this instance, I've started a second expedition. So this is negative 20, negative 40. Then you add two points for negative 36. It is not necessary to start every expedition. You only subtract the negative 20 points for the expeditions you do start. And the rules of continuing an expedition are as follows. You are only able to play a card that is higher in value than the one already in the column. You are not able to play a card that is lower. Nor could you play a card in between. But what about these cards? These are referred to as the wager cards and they are score multipliers. A wager card can only be placed at the beginning of a column, and you are able to place multiple on the same column. However, once a number card has been played, you cannot play another wager card. And score multipliers work like this. So we know when we start an expedition, we start with negative 20 points, then we add the numbers to that. So in this case, we have negative 20, negative 18, negative 15, negative 11. However, these score multipliers say we do not have negative 11. One card doubles that, triples that, quadruples that. So we can see that instead of a score of negative 11, we have a score of negative 44. And of course, if you manage to get over 20, in this case 8, that would multiply that 8 four times for a score of 32. Also, as a final note on scoring, if you have eight or more cards in a column, you get a bonus 20 points. Don't forget to add that to your final score. When it comes back to your turn, the second option to do is discard a card. And you can discard a card if you don't want to or can't place a card on an expedition. Simply choose a card and place it instead on the game board in the appropriate colored spot. And whenever it comes time to draw a card, you can always draw from the draw pile or you can choose one of the cards from the game board. The only exception to that being you cannot place a card in a discard pile and then at the end of your turn, draw that same card. You must always draw from the discard pile or a different colored pile. Each game is done when the final card of the main draw pile has been taken. Then count up the points in the manner described earlier and continue for a second and third game. Add up those points and you've played a complete session of Lost Cities. And that's all you need to know to get started playing Lost Cities. To get a sense of how it feels to play the game, please join me next time as I do a playthrough.